Hello everybody, my name is Vinay Jacob John. Please visit my two websites jesusheelsministries.org and also prayintongues.org. Today we are going to read from the Old Testament of the whole Bi Holy Bible, the book of Psalms chapter 2, verse 6. Yet have I, Jehovah Jireh, our provider, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, set my King Jesus Christ of Nazareth upon my holy hill of Mount Zion. Holy hill of Mount Zion also means the throne room of our Lord God Jehovah as described in uh, Isaiah chapter 6 and Revelation chapter 4. Verse 7 I will declare, declare the decree the Lord Jehovah has said unto me, Jesus, Thou art my son, Jesus, this day have I begotten you. Verse 8 Ask of me, Jehovah, and I, Jehovah, shall give you the heathen for all people of all nations for our inheritance and the uttermost parts of the earth for our possession. Verse 12 Kiss the Son, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Also, let us turn to the book of Hebrews in the New Testament of the Holy Bible. Hebrews chapter 4, verse 12. For the word of our Lord God Jehovah and Jesus Christ of Nazareth is quick and powerful and sharper than any two edged sword, piercing even to the dividing asunder of soul. Soul means mind, will, and emotions, and spirit is our spirit man inside and of the joints and marrow, and is a discerner of the thoughts and intents of the heart. Verse 14 Seeing then that we have a great high priest, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, who has passed into the heavens, Jesus, the Son of God, Jehovah, let us hold fast our profession, or our confession, or keep praying in tongues in the Holy Spirit, in the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Verse 15 For we have an high priest, who is touched with the feeling of our infirmities or weaknesses, but was in all points tempted like as we are yet without sin. Jesus committed no sin. Jesus took away our sin in Jesus' own body on the tree, that we being dead to sin should live unto righteousness. By Jesus' stripes we were healed. And also Jesus took away our spiritual death, our old in a man. When Jesus went down to hell, we were all in Jesus' bosom. And on the third day and on the third night, our Lord God Jehovah lifted Jesus out of hell. Jesus became the firstborn from the dead or hell. And we are Jesus' brothers in Jesus' bosom. Hebrews chapter 4. Verse 16, Let us therefore come boldly unto the throne of grace, that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help in our time of need. That, that time of need means when we are being tempted, the choice we make whether to yield to that sin or to overcome that sin. That's why it says in Hebrews chapter 4 verse 15, the last part, but was in all points tempted like as we are. Yet Jesus chose not to sin. Jesus also said, the Holy Spirit in our spirits is willing, if we are willing and obedient, but the flesh is weak. Thank you everybody for listening to me today. Please visit my two websites, jesusheesministries.org and also prayintongues.org and also please visit my friend's website, Jesse to plant his ministries, www.jdm.org. Brother Jesse Duplant is his, uh, my partner and friend in the Gospel of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. And the Gospel of the Kingdom of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, Nazareth shall be preached in all world, in the whole world, for all nations to hear and believe in Jesus, and then shall Jesus come. And we shall see Jesus face to face on that day, on that glorious day of Jesus. And we will be in, with Jesus forevermore in heaven above. Jesus loves us all, Jesus heals us all. In the name of Jesus Christ of Nazareth, 